What's going on YouTube? This is Baboon Banana 69 here bringing you another video on Apex Legends, the new battle royale type game by Respawn Entertainment. If you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe, leave a comment below, drop a like. I really do appreciate all the support that everyone's been giving me over the past couple of days. Uh, so in this video, I'm just going to jump straight into it. I'm just going to quickly talk about what my uh, favorite characters are top to bottom and then I'm going to quickly give you my advice on what I think the number one squad is to run in the game uh, Hopefully you guys all have your own opinions on this, but again, this is just my preference um, So quickly starting out. I'm gonna talk about my favorite characters. So my number one go-to character is lifeline uh, She's a phenomenal support type character, which is uh, more of the role that I prefer playing in this game uh, which is different than normal because uh, in Call of Duty and in Fortnite and in pretty much any other game I've ever played, I, I've always just tried to be the OBJ Slayer. Um, but in this game, I, I really like playing with the team, and I really prefer uh, being a solid team and going for the win, which is which is different for me. Um, however, however, she's a great, phenomenal character. She has the quicker respawn time or the quicker revive time, I should say. Uh, she can run in, she can revive teammates, she gets that nice little shield wall, which is fantastic, because nobody likes being thirsted out. Um, after that, she has the uh, DOC drone, which is great. You can put that down for either A, the whole squad, or B, yourself. Uh, so if you're like, get shot up a little bit, you're low on shield, you can put the DOC drone out, and then you can pop shield at the same time. You kind of kill two birds with one stone, which I find fantastic. And then finally, she has the care package. My preferred way of using the care package is early on in the game, so get it as quickly as possible, find the uh, ultimate accelerators, use them, call it in, and then have all of your teammates give you ultimate accelerators if they have them, just because her ability is very, very good for early on game and not as good for the later type game. Um, after uh, Lifeline, uh, Bangladore is actually my next favorite character. And she is, uh, again, another supporting type role character. She has smoke grenades. Um, she has the ability to run in with the smoke grenades to heal teammates. And uh, finally, she has the bombardment type thing, which is a little bit more aggressive or a little bit more offensive. But uh, if you use it right, I think you can use it more of in a defensive type way to kind of clear an area out, throw down some smoke grenades, and then pick up your teammate. And then finally, Wraith. Uh, I haven't played with her too much, but... Now out of the time, out of all the other characters that I have played with, she is definitely my number three favorite character. Uh, her uh, her abilities, which is the voices, I, I always work for me. They always seem about 99% accurate. If she hears people coming around, then uh, it generally means that there's people nearby. After that, the into the void thing is a little bit more of an aggressive type thing you can use, or you can use it in a defensive manner. So you can use into the void to either a push up onto people quickly, or b back up and uh, kind of push back towards your team or retreat. And then finally, her dimensional rift is just phenomenal oops sorry about that it's just phenomenal if you're playing in a team uh if you get stuck in between two teams one team's pushing from the top of the hill one team's pushing from the bottom of the hill you can have bangladore throw down some smoke grenades you can have wraith put the dimensional rate uh dimensional rift up if she has it and then you can kind of reposition yourself to go to the top of the hill to regain control of the map there uh and again, this is my top squad, also not only my top three favorite characters. So the number one squad I would say always run, if you can, is Wraith, Bangladore, and Lifeline. You will find yourself winning more games than you are losing, that is for sure. I, I think uh, we win probably, I don't know, eight out of ten times or nine out of ten times uh, on every game, which is just, well, sorry about that, I just dropped my phone. Ah, oh, shit, <laughs> whatever. Um, eight, out of ten, eight out of ten times or nine out of ten times. Um... Finally, the, the last three characters are all just kind of meh for me. I, I don't really have a personal preference. I, I enjoy Pathfinder because, uh, because of the zipline that he creates. Uh, I think it could be interchangeable with Wraith. Uh, however, I find Wraith a little bit more of a supporting type character and a little bit better than Pathfinder. The, ability that he, the abilities that Pathfinder have just don't really seem to bring a whole lot to the table. And then uh, uh, last but not least is the Bloodhound and the Gibraltar. Both of these characters to me just kind of either A, seem hoary or B, just self-motivated interest. Um, Bloodhound more so than Gibraltar. Bloodhound's abilities are all for himself. They don't benefit the team at all except for I have the Allfather, which is like only an okay, probably one of the lower rated tactical abilities in the game. Um, and then Gibraltar has the personal shield, which I, I don't like. And then the Dome of Protection, which is supposed to be for a team, but constantly I find that when I get paired up with somebody who uses Gibraltar, he just like throws it down randomly, or he doesn't know how to position it, or he throws it down in a way and it just like 
ends up blocking the line of sight. Uh, so in general, I just kind of find these three characters meh. Again, Pathfinder, I would rate him a little bit higher than the other two for a team. Uh, anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you have a preferred squad that you like running, be sure to drop that in the comments below. Let me know what your favorite characters are to run or what you've been running the most over the past couple of days. Uh, let me know what you think about the game so far. Uh, again, I personally have been loving it, been playing it a lot. Uh, sort of dropped Fortnite for a little bit to pick up something new, get a nice change of pace. Uh, will I be done with the Fortnite videos? Probably not. Um, however, I, I've just been enjoying this game a lot, so I, I'd highly encourage everyone to give it a try here. Uh, well, guys, I'm going to go ahead and conclude this video. Be sure to subscribe, leave a comment below, uh, subscribe to the channel. I'd really do appreciate everyone. Till next time, this has been your host, Baboon Banana, signing off.